Welcome to Shore Perspectives, a community feature of WESR Radio, highlighting the spirit of the shore from those who call it home. My name is Darrell Hamby. I represent the Eastern Shore Players. I'm a head coach and also the founder of the program. My name is Braden Justice. I'm a player for Eastern Shore Players and I've been playing for seven years. Uh, we got started once I moved down here back in 2000 something and I went to a Parks and Rec game and I happened to see some young men I was like oh they're really talented so I just started going around asking kids if they wanted to play that was pretty much it and talked to the parents and the parents were like what are you trying to do and I'm like we're just trying to give kids an opportunity to see different things you know through light of basketball if we use basketball as a vessel to get them to see other things in life then we're on the right path watching the kids grow watching them grow into young men and that's the satisfaction that I get personally from being around these young men, watching them grow. Him being with us for seven years, it's a long time. So I've seen Braden grow from this little kid, now he's to a grown man about to take another journey. So it's all, for us, it's all about a journey that we're all taking together as a family to make this all possible for these young men, to see different things in the world and, and see that they have a chance that they can enjoy those things too. Um, academically, I would say I've changed a lot. They really preach books before ball. That's a big saying for us. And um, they pushed me. I've had much better grades since I've started with Eastern Shore players, and I've maintained them since I've stayed with them and just grew a bond with all the players and coaches that will last forever. We've been to New York, Myrtle Beach, and most recently Las Vegas. And um, you know, they've just showed us a lot of things. We play, of course, but we spend a lot of time as a family going out to see certain things and just bonding with each other. When you all go to a different game in a different part of the country, you're not just going for the game. And I'll start with you, Brayden. Tell me a little bit about these cool opportunities that you have when you travel. Yes, ma'am. Um, when we went to New York, we got to meet um, a couple of public figures like Shaquille O'Neal and Jimmy Fallon and people like that and those are memories that you're going to carry for a lifetime. We got to see um, famous buildings, famous places we got to go visit and like I said it's more than just basketball. We're not going only going to a gym, we're going to spend time as a family. And Daryl, how about for you, tell me about the importance of these type of experiences and how they create a more well-rounded young person. Well, I think you just said it yourself. That's what exactly what happens. Um, they see these things going around when we go to different places. We're not just going to play basketball. We're going to see what's going on in that culture. So then they get to embrace different cultures and learn about them. And like you said, it makes them a much well-rounded person. And that's the mission of our program just make well-rounded individuals can think for themselves, free thinkers, be creative. To get to go to a big trip like Las Vegas, you got to do a lot of things and it was a lot of hard work that we had to put in on and off the court and I mean it was all worth it in the end. How did you do in the game? Uh, good. Uh, I don't really. We won. We have our own league. We started the league. We created this so that these kids could have an opportunity to go and see different things, meet different people and just have an experience. Just, and again, like I said, it's a journey and I'm, I'm just so thrilled to be a part of it. And I don't think any of this would be possible without my wife support because we travel a lot, you know, and the kids have to get to see a lot of stuff. And it's time consuming. And we have our own family as it is. And, you know, to try to balance both out is really hard, but in the end, it's absolutely worth it. And thanks to our family, who understands and supports us, it works. How do you find other teams to play, or how do they find you? Um, there's a website. My wife usually finds it. Uh, ACA, I believe, ACA Hoops. And you can look up and see what tournaments you want to go to, and then, then sometimes you'll, you'll do well in the tournament, someone will see you, and then you'll get an invite. So it's like just through making connections through all these, all these tournaments that we uh, somehow we got to Vegas. And you know, that was our biggest trip thus far. Brayden, I'm gonna go back to you for a moment. What are some of the best memories you're gonna take with you? Going to Vegas was my first time ever on a plane. So that was a memory <laughs> in itself. But um, 
I say everything, just the bond that I've built with the players. I'm going to have that for a lifetime. I'm going to stay in contact with them, even though I'm not playing anymore next year. But I'm still going to stay in contact, be supportive, come to games, things like that. You have to take a chance. You never know. Uh, nothing's guaranteed to you, you know, in the sport that we're playing basketball right now. But take a chance. Uh, we're here. We're here to help. Um, we're not going to steer them in the wrong directions, and we're just going to try to make them model citizens. Do you come from a basketball background yourself? Yes, ma'am, I do. Tell me a little bit about your background. <laughs> He's laughing at me. <laughs> He's laughing because I don't like talking about myself. Um, from eastern end of Long Island, New York. Um, I play for a team called the Bridgehampton Killer Bees. Um, we are currently second in the state in titles. Uh, we had the smallest school in the state, and yet we were going up against Goliaths, and we were beating them and winning state titles. So, as a champion, learned a past champion, I know that with the right people around me, we can make better people out of these young men here. For the first seven years, you have been limited to boys playing, but you have some plans for the future. <laughs> Tell me a little we bit about that. We absolutely do. So if anyone who's listening, we are planning on having a girls team, ages 7 to 10, starting next season. Just get in touch with my wife or myself and just say that you want to try out and we'll figure out a way to get you in the gym. And when the tryouts come out, we'll reach out to you and get you in the gym and see what you're made of. We're on Facebook. Eastern Shore players, folks can follow you, like you, get more information. Information, yep. Okay. You can reach out to us and we'll respond to you. I'm just grateful for the opportunity that I've had and that they took a chance on me. You know, my first year I didn't really, I wasn't a basketball player. I was more like a team guy, but they've built me into this basketball player and this better man that I've become. I just want to really uh, thank the coaches and everybody in the community that really have supported us over these years. Um, it's really been a blessing to have met these people and we really appreciate everything that they've done for us and supporting our program. I mean, it's going to be worth it all in the end. It's hard during it and it's going to be a lot of work that you put in, but in the end you're going to not only be a better basketball player, but a much better person. For Shore Perspectives and WESR Radio, I'm Kelly Gaskell.